Welcome back guys, this is always back with another video on the channel. It's been long that I've uploaded a video on the channel. So today we're going to be understanding this keyword in JavaScript. So to demonstrate that, we're going to let's just talk about where we can use this keyword first. So this keyword can be used in in a normal function call and within a method on an object and within the object that has been constructed. And there's a fourth way a function invoke with dot call or dot apply or bind in JavaScript. So we're not going to talk about that. We're going to try understanding the basic concept of this keyword in JavaScript. Now to demonstrate that I'm going to create a normal function. So let's just say function. We can just name it hello world. And here, first of all, let's just console.log and we just say hello world. All right. And then I'm just going to console.log and then here I'm going to type this. Okay. And now we're going to call this function outside this function so it could print out something in our console. Now let's refresh the page. Now, once I refresh the page, I can see that the script log two things the hello world string and this which in the window object is in the concept of a normal function when you call a function in this way this is going to be a global context so in a browser it's a window object so you can see that this keyword referred to a window object so we got a bunch of things in it now let's look at this keyword within a method so to demonstrate that we are going to create a javascript object so let's just create a JavaScript object person and inside that we're going to give a name key and in the name key I'll just type my name and then we can just say uh, email maybe and I'll just type my email this is not my real email so don't try to email it on it so next we can just say dob oops D dob and then I'll just type a random date of birth here and then we are going to let's just say another key profession and I'll just type software developer and then we can add another function to it so let's just say description and I'm going to call a function on it and inside that function I'm just going to console.log and I'm going to type the person person name is and we'll just concatenate this dot a name and then concatenate empty quotes to give a space and I'll say person profession is and then let's just concatenate this dot profession right so let's just uh, actually we are going to change the font size i'm just gonna push it to the next line so we could see that okay so we got that and now i'm just going to call a few things so now let's just say i will call person dot description and let's just save the file and i'm going to refresh the page and now we get the string here this person name is always person profession is software developer now, as you can see that the profession here is set to software developer so let's just say we delete the this keyword from here and let's save the file and refresh the page and now we get an error it says profession is not defined so it does not know where to look for the profession so that is why we type this dot profession which is going to refer to the profession key inside our object now i'm going to create a global variable so outside the object we just say profession is equal to computer programmer oops my typing is pretty bad all right so we got that now if i refresh the page and i get the software developer and if i just remove the this keyword here and let's just save the file and refresh the page and now as you can see it is referring to a global object now so profession global object and we have a key inside that so it's referring to a computer programmer instead of software developer 
All right, so now let's look at this keyword a bit different way. Now, to show you guys that, I'm actually going to create a function here. So we'll just say second function is equal to function. And we're going to pass in two parameters, name. Let's just say first name and last name. All right, inside that, we are going to be needing two global variables. So let's just say var first name, var last name. And now, if we want to refer to this global variable inside of our second function, how we do it? Well, if I type first name, it is going to refer to the parameter of the function. So to refer to this first name to the global variable, we need to use a this keyword. Now let's look at it. I'm going to console.log and then I'm going to type this dot first name is equal to first name. And then we just say console.log this dot last name is equal to last name. Now what it's going to do. So now the first name and the last name are referring to the parameter of the function and this dot first name and this dot last name is referring to the global variable. So let's just use this function now. So I'm going to try, let's just say second function and we can pass in two strings there. So let's just say always and Mirza. Okay, let's save the file and I'm going to refresh the page. Now let's refresh the page and it says Mirza is not defined. Now we need to put that into our double quotation and let's just refresh the page again and there it goes. So we got Awais and Mirza. Now if I remove this, this, right, and let's just save the file and refresh it, now we still get Awais and Mirza. It's because we're passing in Awais, sorry, Mirza to this last name and then it's going to get printed. It's going to set last name equal to last name. That is why we're getting this Mirza. But now we're not accessing this global variable inside of our function. All right. So if we say, let's just say console.log, right? And I'm going to type first name and console.log last name. Now let's see what we get. I'm going to refresh the page. And there you go. So we got this, uh, actually, let's just comment this out for a second and let's just refresh the page. And now as you can see, we got undefined, undefined, right? Because we're not setting or we're not using this function at all. So we uncomment this, let's save the file and refresh it. Now we got Oasis and Mirza, which is coming from Oasis and Mirza, okay? And then we console the log first name, which is Mirza, because we're using this function on this line. So this function is going to set this dot first name to the first name. So now the first name, this global variable has the value what we pass into this first name parameter, which was a waste. So that is why on the second, uh, actually second last line, we can see that first name has a value of a waste in it. Now if I change this to this dot last name and now let's save it and refresh the page and now we get the Mirza as well because after calling these functions we can see that we have applied the value of first name parameter and a last name parameter to our global variable. So this is an assignment statement and it's setting the first name global variable to the first name of the parameter. Now what if I, let's just say, we just move this up. So before we use this function, I'm going to try console.log. Now let's refresh the page and now as you can see we're getting undefined, undefined because when the compiler comes here it says the first name which is undefined and the last name which is undefined and it goes down to the console.log and prints out this value and then print out this value but when it goes down it's, it's saying that this is a function and we're using that function and passing away and Mirza 
and we use the this keyword and set the this keyword and because of the this keyword we passing we setting the first name which is a global variable is equal to first name and the parameter we are uh, using and we actually using the parameter here in this function and passing the value of always and now let's just say I'll just duplicate this and I'll just move this down and now if I save the file and let me just duplicate that as well and we just move this down let me just select that and move it down okay save the file and now let's refresh it and there we go so we got undefined undefined and then we use the this keyword to refer to the global variable and set its value to first name and we use the global variable by using the this keyword here and set the value to the global variable sorry parameter so now you understand how this keyword works so if you use the this record this keyword inside the function it will refer to a global variable and if you use the this keyword inside an object it will refer to a key inside that object now that was a quick video and the reason why I made this video is because I had a few questions about this keyword in JavaScript. So yeah, that's about it guys. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below and I'll be uploading a lot more videos from now on as well.